Let's get creative with some wobbling images. I don't mean wobble in an erratic, annoying way. I mean with this little bit of continuous looping movement, which might work for your website. Over here, we've got a gray section background. We've got some text in white and we've got an image and it's pretty simple, okay? We've got a border radius and we've got a bit of a shadow going on. There's nothing fantastic going on at the moment. But here's the really, really important and cool bit. I'm gonna click on the image and I'm gonna to go to advanced and I've given it a CSS class name of Ninja. Why did I call it Ninja? Just because I had loads of Ninja pictures on here before when I was doing a Woo shop. But anyway, it's called Ninja. And I'm gonna drop into a custom CSS, some code. Watch what this does as soon as I add it. Can you see the image is now moving? Like it's just kind of moving almost in a circular fashion. But you're not getting an erratic start to end loop motion. Look, it's just moving. And here's what it does. We have uh, animation which lasts five seconds. If I was to do 50, it's gonna be super, super slow and it's not really doing anything there. We'll leave it as five seconds for now. Well, let me show you what happens if I put it as one. Right, okay, so I think five was more gradual and nice. Imagine you've got images and things on your website. You can even apply this to text, okay? This is really cool. I've just applied it to an image. You could apply it to anything else. Obviously, play around with the code if you want it to do something differently. But I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to duplicate this section like that. So I've got two of them now. Now you'll notice that this one is just kind of replicating what we had on the left. But over here, I've called it Ninja 2 and My Anim 2. My Anim 2. Just make sure that says Ninja 2 as well there. So it's now all relating to the second one. Okay, and just remind yourself, make sure you've put Ninja 2 as well or whatever name you're going to pick. Now, where it says uh, the pixels for both of these, I'm going to match them. So watch what happens when I do 100. When I do this, it's going to it's gonna like go erratic. See that jump it did there? It'll go, and because it's set to five seconds, there'll be a, see that? It's not great, is it? But if you do it on the second one as well, so whatever pixel you put there, so if you do 50, do 50 on the second, 100, 100. Take the code over here that we've just modified. Okay, let's go over to the text. And I'm going to call this text, for simplicity, I'm just going to call this Ninja 2 as well. And it will pick up the code from the right hand side. So I've now got this like ridiculous effect going on here. But I think you could be quite clever with how you apply this with some versatility and start applying it to different elements of your website. So you've now got motion movement going on you know, without having a motion effect. This is just happening on the screen. It's not gonna be activated by scroll, it just happens. So you could have either have a really gradual one like we got here or have a really erratic one that's being a bit more movement in it. But have a play, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.